from knowing the very existence of life on Earth to discovering life on other planets. From learning the various processes in our human body to learning the processes of the little cells that are not visible to our naked eyes. From studying the various incidences of past to discovering new and new things, science is involved. To know more about science, we request you to watch a video on water science. Science has the answer to all our questions. It tells the logic behind everything happening around us. But why is it that we find the subject so difficult to understand and relate? We recently got a lot of requests from our viewers to make a video on how to study science. So here we are fulfilling your request and we have tried to answer the most common concerns which students face or come across while learning the subject. The first common question asked is how to study it. Science is a very visual subject. So, the more you visualize the concepts, imagine what it says, the easier it will be for us to relate and understand it. If you are not satisfied with the content or matter mentioned in the textbook, don't stop there. Please read other reference books or online resources to get a complete knowledge about that concept. If reading the same thing is not making you understand the subject, change the way of learning it. Use audiovisual, games or any other mode of learning. Relate it to the real life. Experience the subject to understand it. Observe the events occurring around us. All these things will greatly help you to understand the subject. The second common question asked to us is how to remember chemical equations in chemistry. We understand that remembering these equations as a whole is very difficult. So what we can do is be thorough with the chemical formula of each compound. Like sulfuric acid is H2SO4, sodium chloride is NaCl, hydrogen peroxide is H2O2 and so on. And now coming to the chemical equation, you just have to learn it as sulfuric acid reacts with iron to give hydrogen gas and ferrous sulfate and not as H2SO4 plus Fe gives H2 plus FeSO4. Understanding the difference? Remember the equation based on its type. Like in the earlier example, the reaction of sulfuric acid forming ferrous sulfate is a displacement reaction. If you carefully see, hydrogen gas is getting displaced. Now if you take another reaction, hydrogen peroxide, it decomposes, breaks down to give water and oxygen. While learning the equation, learn it in the form of reactants and products. Like A plus B is reacting to give me C plus D or at times just C in that way. Keep a note of the number of molecules involved or learn the logic for balancing them. The next question asked is how to remember or learn all the diagrams. The basic reply that you will get on this is practice. Relate the diagram with the answer so you need not take extra efforts to remember the parts. For example, if we take structure of a neuron. If we study the answer, then remembering the parts will be easy. You just have to practice it once. Few things to be kept in mind are, first draw the outline and then the inner parts. Make the diagram proportionate, keep it simple and don't over decorate it. Talking about ray diagrams, you just have to follow the basic principle or laws of light. Talking about numericals of physics and chemistry. Write those formula along with their definition in a separate sheet. Relating the two is very important because if you know the definition, you can remember the formula and vice versa. Solve all different types of numericals and in most cases, solve the general types. If there are any practical sessions, please don't miss them as most of the concepts are demonstrated practically. When you involve yourself in doing those practicals, the theory concepts indirectly becomes thorough. 
friends don't you think that various disciplines of science are all interconnected like let me give you an example in the biological process of digestion where food eaten by us is broken down by the acid in our stomach it involves chemistry the measure of body temperature pressure requires a knowledge of physics so try to understand these disciplines logically learn to interconnect them and make it more simple and relatable revise the concepts frequently and make it a habit of making your notes trust me friends it will save a lot of time while revising test yourself to make yourself thorough you may solve various test papers or some online test to check whether you remember the concepts right so friends from these tips i hope learning science would have become a little simpler you may take help from our various explanatory videos on biology physics and environmental sciences and to make your paper presentation strong you may check out a video on science paper presentation before you leave please don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel meet you soon with yet another interesting topic in our upcoming session the entire team of let's do it wishes you good luck